In this video, we will use the remainder theorem to determine if a given binomial is a factor of a given polynomial. The remainder theorem states that if a polynomial function f of x is divided by the binomial x minus c, then the remainder is f of c. So if f of c is zero, x minus c is a factor. If f of c is not zero, it's not a factor, and f of c is equal to the remainder if we did perform the division. So for the first example, we are asked to determine if x plus two is a factor of the given polynomial function. So notice how right now the binomial is not in the form of x minus c because we have addition. So there's two ways to determine the value of c. We can think of x plus two as the equivalent subtraction problem of x minus negative two, and therefore c is negative two, or we can take the binomial of x plus two, set it equal to zero and solve, which gives us x equals negative two, and therefore c is negative two. Both methods work. Either way, we need to find the function value f of negative two to determine if x plus two is a factor of the given polynomial function. And f of negative two is equal to negative two raised to the fourth minus six times the cube of negative two minus two times the square of negative two plus nine times negative two minus 38. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. We have negative two in parentheses raised to the fourth, right arrow, minus six times the cube of negative two, right arrow, and then minus two times the square of negative two. If we use the square key here, we don't have to press the right arrow to get out from the exponent position. And then we have plus nine times negative two, minus 38 and the function value is zero. So because the function value is zero, if we did divide the function by x plus two, the remainder would be zero, and because the remainder would be zero, we know x plus two is a factor of the polynomial function. So we answer yes, it is a factor. Next, we're asked to determine if x minus one is a factor of the given polynomial function. So because we already have subtraction here, it is in the correct form to identify the value of c, c is going to be positive one, so we need to find the function value f of one to determine if x minus one is a factor. Notice how when we have subtraction in the original binomial, c is positive. When we have addition, c is negative. So in this case, f of one is equal to one raised to the fourth plus 10 times one cubed plus two times one squared minus 10 times one plus 17. Let's evaluate this by hand. We have one plus 10 plus two, that's 13, minus 10 is three, plus 17 is 20. Since f of one is equal to 20, we know if we divided the polynomial function by x minus one, the remainder would be 20, and because we have a remainder, x minus one is not a factor of the polynomial function. Let's take a look at two more examples. Here we're asked if x is a factor of the given polynomial function, which in this case is a quadratic function. But we should be able to recognize right away, x is not a common factor of this trinomial, and therefore x is not going to be a factor. But if we did want to apply the remainder theorem, we would have to think of x as the binomial x minus zero, and therefore c is zero. So if c is zero, we need to find the function value f of zero to determine if x is a factor. Well, f of zero is eight times the square of zero minus six times zero minus one, which is zero minus zero minus one, which is negative one. So if we did divide f of x by x, the remainder would be negative one. Because we have a remainder, we know x is not a factor. And now the last example is a little bit different. We want to determine if two x minus three is a factor of the given polynomial function. So again, there's two ways to determine the value of c. Notice how we have to have the binomial in the form of x minus c, where the coefficient of x is one. So to have a coefficient of one, we would have to factor out two. If we factor two from two x minus three, we'd have two times the quantity x minus three halves. Notice how if we distribute, we still have two x minus three. In this form, if x minus three halves is a factor, then so is two x minus three. So notice here, c is equal to positive three halves, or 
we can set 2x minus 3 equal to 0 and solve. So we would add 3 to both sides, giving us 2x equals 3, and then divide both sides by 2. Notice how we get x equals 3 halves, which is why we use a c value of 3 halves when applying the remainder theorem when the binomial is 2x minus 3. So f of 3 halves is equal to 8 times the cube of 3 halves minus 22 times the square of 3 halves plus 29 times 3 halves minus 21. Let's go back to the calculator. We have 8 times 3 halves cubed, right arrow, minus 22 times 3 halves squared, plus 29 times 3 halves, minus 21. Enter. And notice how the function value is 0. So because the function value is 0, this indicates that if we did divide the given polynomial by 2x minus 3, the remainder would be 0, and because the remainder would be 0, 2x minus 3 is a factor of the given polynomial function. And in this case, x minus 3 halves would also be a factor of the given polynomial function. And remember, if this function value wasn't 0, it would give us a remainder when dividing the given polynomial by 2x minus 3. I hope you found this helpful.